Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. In this video I'm going to do using a chain to split round. So this is a technique that I'm using when I need to create a T-junction or a right angle in my work. So um, I first used it in the Edwards Menagerie Birds book when doing parrot legs um, because what you need to do is come down the leg and split to two sides. It's also used in the, Kerry, the chameleon pattern in a similar way with the feet. It's used in the dolphin um, and the whale in order to create the tail. Um, so the example I'm going to show you on is the dolphin, but the same technique applies to all of those things um, when you are working the stitches, including Gregor the T-Rex. Same theory, just done on a much um, bigger scale when you're doing that big split on the head for the jaw. So what the instruction will tell you to do will be to chain a certain number of stitches. So I'm going to do 12 in this circumstance. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then to slip stitch this chain to the other side of the round. So if you can see what you've got, because you've started at the front of this dolphin, um, and this would apply if you were doing a leg, you'd be starting at the top of the leg. You're crocheting down the work until you hit this point where you're going to be working a chain. And what it's asking you to do is basically split the round that you had in half with a chain. So turn your work around once you've made that chain and you just need to slip stitch back in to the right side of fabric on the other side. So your pattern will tell you how many you need to have. You will usually be splitting it exactly in half so you'll be able to count the number of stitches in your round and you'll be able to know which one you're going into. You go into the right side of that stitch halfway across the round and slip stitch into position by coming through that one and then through the one on your hook in one movement. In one movement. So what you've got is a chain splitting the round that you had in two. Um, and this, like I said, will be on a big scale on one like Gregor, on a small scale on something like when you split for the legs on the, on the chameleon or a bird. Then what you're going to do is actually work around. So you're going to work across the round that you had, so across one half of the bottom of the round that you're working on, and then you're going to double crochet up into one side of the chain. So you're going to work one side of the tail first, like this. Then you're going to rejoin and you're going to work the other side at a right angle um, on the other side. So let me just show you by going. So first you'll go across the bottom of the stitches that you had, and then we'll come up onto the chain. So you see I'm hitting the chain point here. What I'm going to do is go into one side of the chain. I've got one more to work there. Excuse me one second, Need that one. And then I'm gonna come up into one half of the chain. So go in here and double crochet. Then onto the next stitch on my chain and double crochet and work my stitches across the top of there to create myself a new round which will shoot off in a right angle from the one that I did before. So from this point you'll merrily um, go on your way and work one half of the pattern. So you'll be working um, in this circumstance one half of the tail, it might be working two whole claws on a parrot um, and you'll work it to the end of that instruction. So round the chain, that's it until you get back to the bottom and at this point just check that you have got the right number of stitches that the pattern says so at this point um, when you've crocheted around the bottom and you've crocheted up on the chain just count your stitches backwards to check that you have got the new right number in your round if you haven't my advice would be don't pull backwards at this point just add it in at this base point so if you find that you're one stitch out or one stitch over um, add it in or remove it at this stage and you'll find the pattern corrects itself. Don't desperately pull it backwards and try and, uh, try and get it off that chain. Just add it in at that space point and the patterns will definitely um, won't have any impact on the pattern. Um, so what you do then is carry on working your pattern. Now the next stage, um, I can't um, do the whole lot because unfortunately this video will become far too long. So you'd be working the whole of one side of that tail. When you finish, you'll cut that off. And then the most important thing is where you would rejoin. So once you've worked the whole of one half of that tail there, you're going to rejoin here, this side of the chain. So you'll rejoin into the next stitch along that you would have naturally been working had you been carrying on on your original round. So put your hook in there, 
and slip stitch your yarn into position and then continue to double crochet so you'll be double crocheting along the base of the stitches that you had left over from the second half of the round there we go and then up onto those chain stitches and this can be quite fiddly and um, my advice would be again don't panic about it too much your best bet is to try and get the right number of stitches um, by going one into each one but if you get to the other side and you find that you're one down or one up um, just correct it by adding one in or taking one away at that point and you'll find that the the pattern is so forgiving that you won't see a difference in your end result. So just go across this chain, you're working into the other side of the chain that you split with. There we go. Back down the other side. There we go, and then you're off. So what you will have done is if this is your dolphin here you will have crocheted that side of its tail first and then we rejoined to crochet this side second and that's how it creates um, a complete change of angle you've been crocheting this way down the body until the point you hit that tail and then you split off at a right angle that way and then one that way to finish <laughs> 